Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and in this video, I'm going to share with you the latest from the Nota Studio, also known as Nota Studio and their first collaboration with Boring Toys for this Mark 85 The Shield Accessory Set. Okay, so for this one, um, it's a pretty standard box uh, that we get from the uh, Nota Studio. Uh, we actually gotten this box before for the other uh, set, which is the Captain America Shield set. Uh, almost similar, but without the uh, boring toys there, because this is, I think, it's their first collaborations with this brand. I'm not too familiar with these boring toys. So this is the Mark 85 Shield Accessory Pack. Uh, of course, it's an uh, accessory. There's no figure, there's no head, okay? So let's get a look on what's inside, okay? Yep, this is my first time opening it. I have no idea what's inside as well. Okay, just gotten it a few days back. Wow. Okay, so it's looking pretty good there. Okay, on the first glance. Okay, this is the, uh, they call it the star cannon or the back cannon for Mark 85. And they also have these two blades, hand blades. Okay, looking pretty good there. Okay, let's see what else is inside. Of course, this is called the uh, Mark 5 shield. We'll be having a shield as well, okay? This is the uh, the shield that is used in the Avengers Endgame, okay? Yeah, very, very nice, a translucent one, okay? Okay, so let's take a quick look at all the accessories. Okay, so this accessories pack actually comes with four items, the shield, of course, and the uh, star cannon or whatever you call it, this is uh, appears at the back of Mark 85 during the final battle with Thanos in the Avengers Endgame as well as these two blades, okay, looking pretty good there so let's take a look at the blade first okay, so will they give me a wrong hand? it should have a one left hand and another right hand so, yep, I got a pair here lucky me, <laughs> I'm pretty afraid they might give me the same side of hands, okay so the hands are looking pretty well sculpted, I would say. Yep. And the blade, mm, not too bad. Okay. Yep. So of course I will try on the Mark 85 later. Yep. Just take a quick look on the uh, products. Okay. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all this before because I actually reviewed for the Takara Tony, but this video is not about the comparison. I'll just purely concentrate on Nota Studio and look at how their product uh, actually improve or actually not okay but so far it's looking pretty good especially the detail that you can see on this star cannon yeah looking very very nice okay yeah, let's hope that it fits well into the SHV Quartz Mark 85 as well okay yep looking pretty good mm, I like this portion here Okay, very detailed, and of course, the uh, shield that he used. Okay, wow, very nice. Oh, okay, they even sculpted the uh, Mark 85 uh, right hand, if I'm not wrong. Oh, sorry, I think it's the left hand. Okay, it looks like the left hand. <laughs> okay, yes, this is how he holds it. Okay. Okay, so like I mentioned, I will be trying out on the SH Figuarts Mark 85. So let's begin with the small one first, which is the blade on the hands. Okay, I'll remove his hands. Okay, let's see how well it fits. Okay, so far this is for the right hands. Okay, hmm, somehow the hole seems to be much bigger than the joint. Let's hope it's not too loose. Okay, uh, very very tight. Okay, it doesn't have the clicking sound, and uh, I think it just you know you have to push very hard to go in. <laughs> now I'm very very afraid to take it out. Okay, and let's try with this hand. Okay, let's try again. And yeah, same thing here. Uh, not very fitting you just have to push it all the way in and now I'm very very worried that uh, when I take it out I'm worried that it might break the joints okay not good not good ok 
okay but for the look of it the painting seems to be okay just a slight uh, difference compared to this one because this one seems like a darker red and this one is slightly brighter but from afar I think it looks okay yes from afar it seems to be okay yep okay so uh, let's try to take it out right now <laughs> pretty worried though uh, okay yeah because uh, you will know it when you put it in it doesn't just you know fit in when you fit in you will have the clicking sound this one is just like you know purely pushing it in so if you are worried that it might get stuck like I did uh, you can try to uh, widen a little bit by using some uh, I'm not sure some tools or if you want you can use some hair dryer or the warm water treatment to actually try to widen it up but I'm not too recommending it as well because I'm afraid that it might be too white and that you will just you know too loose to hold it okay because right now it's very very hard to push it in okay and when I take it out I'm pretty worried as well okay so the next one of course we will try on the star cannon okay so let's see okay there's a cover here from the original SHV quartz I have took it off okay so now let's see how well it fits okay again uh okay yeah just need to push it in okay yep holds pretty well i must say okay looking pretty good there and the rate does i have a slight difference i'm not sure if it shows on the camera uh yeah this uh rate seems to be brighter this time <laughs> and this one seems to be more darkish kind of red okay yeah but it does seems okay from afar you can't really tell the difference okay and it just looks very very nice in terms of the uh, the overall design the uh, details to match with the back of this mark 85 looking pretty good there yep okay so uh, I'm sure we can push it further yep okay and take it out you just need to take it out very easily Okay, so this is no problem and just the hands okay let's try just now I did a quick look in the movie it seems that um, it's supposed to be holding it on the right hand but this really seems like a left hand if you look at it right now okay but I'm pretty sure if you just put it in no one can tell because no one is going to look at the hand behind they're just going to look this way okay <laughs> okay you can't really tell whether it's the left hand or the right hand but nevertheless i'll try it on the left hand okay very similar to the uh, hand blades it's just very hard to push in very very tight yep so this is how the shoe looks like okay did i put it the wrong way hmm let me check again Okay, yep, so I got it the right way, the right direction, not the other way around, it's this direction. Okay, so you can put it on the uh, left hand, but in the movie, he's holding it on the right hand. So let's see whether it will look odd if I put it on the right hand. Okay, yep, you can't really tell from this angle. Yeah, it went from here, uh, it does look slightly odd here because you can see this is the back of his hand so they have made a mistake then that is supposed to be a right hands holding it not the left hands okay they made it the the left hands okay or maybe we can turn it let's see if we can turn it uh nope it's uh fixed okay so that's the mistake they make it to hold it on the left hand Okay, <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. So when he hold on the left hand, it looks more appropriate. Okay. You can see the hands here. See? Okay. Yep. So this is a mistake from the Nota Studio. I'm not sure if anyone has realized that. Okay. 
Okay, so this is how the uh, overall Nota Studio Mark 85 shield accessory packs looks like on the Mark 85 from the SHV Goods. Uh, I would say it looks pretty good, but first of all, I would like to see if this have a certain UV functions. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is something from the Takara. So let's see. I'm not sure whether it's, it's supposed to work. Yep, I think it does. You can see on the blades, okay. And here, okay, looking pretty good there. Maybe it will be more obvious if I off the light. Let's see. Okay, yep. The blades looking pretty good there the UV functions okay the the star cannon doesn't seem to have it maybe it's at the back mm, not really okay only the blades as well as the shield looking pretty good you can really see the linings of the shield from this pop from this angle okay wow very very nice okay so my final verdict for this accessory pack is uh i would say seven out of ten um the overall look isn't bad just that the uh the joints to hold it into the shv guard is not uh so well made um it's not something like compatible whereby you hear a click so that's a bummer okay but uh it's not a deal breaker if you can't get your hands on the takara tony i think this is uh pretty good i would say they have uh, actually improved compared to the previous nano weapon set for the mark 50 okay so this is a good improvement just that they have to improve the the joints to connect to the figure better so that uh collectors will have no problem to put it in of course i don't have any problem but <laughs> You, you know the feel when it just doesn't fit that well okay yeah so but you you will hold no problem there i'm just afraid uh over long terms i might have trouble you know taking it out like you see now it's pretty tight and i don't want my joints to break okay yeah so uh that's a uh, not a so well done part of this uh products okay otherwise it's pretty good looking and uh, you can see the uv light is also very good Okay, so I would recommend it if you didn't have the uh, Takara Tony, but if you already have the Takara Tony one, I think this is, is you can skip it. Yep, actually I'm getting it just a comparison for you guys, so you uh, can decide if you want to uh, get it or not, e even if you have the Takara Tony one. Okay, so like I said, my next video will be on the comparison between the Takara Tony and this Nota Studio, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you do like this video, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And of course, always leave me any comments below if you have any further questions about this set. Of course, I bought it from my local seller from Carousel. His name is Hot Road. Yeah, I always buy uh, Nota Studio or even the medical uh, accessories from him. Yeah, he's a very trusted seller. You can actually um, hook him up. I'll leave his name on the screen right now so you can um, deal with him, okay? So uh, I'm not sure if he actually deals with overseas client. If you're from Singapore, of course, feel free to uh, contact him. But if you are not, you can work something out with him. Okay, maybe he can do some shipping internationally. Okay, so uh, if you don't want to deal with him, of course, I think uh, you can still get it. I'm not sure whether it's still available, but you can try your luck at the vctoysbox.com. Uh, they might still have it. I'm not so sure. Yep, they do carry some Nota Studio stuff as well, okay? And before you leave, I hope you will check out my playlist right over here. And also do check around my channel. I have over 380 videos by now. I hope there will be something that will catch your attention. And I'll see you in those videos. Bye!